Hi everyone, uh, this is just a short video. Um, this is, uh, I have a Facebook page set up with Megan Boyd, uh, the fly dresser. I don't know if you know the lady, but she was basically one of the best known salmon fly tires, and uh, she's best in the world, really. Uh, she's certainly big in the UK and especially America, and she's really well known. She's the only fly tire I ever got. Uh, she got a British Empire medal from the, the, the Queen for her efforts in fly tying. So, but she was an exceptional fly tire, salmon fly tire, uh, and a, a, a very special lady. Now, the reason I'm mentioning her really is that these belong to Megan. If you, if you look, you can just make out her name and some of the catalogues that she, for some reason, she wrote in the top. Uh, not them all, like. Uh, but basically, uh, these are the vineyard ones, and the, the one in the top here, this fly tie materials from Messina, was basically a, a company who bought in feathers to be used in hats and so on, and obviously developed fly tires with buying fly, uh, the, the materials to tie flies. And this is the actual an actual catalogue from 1951. This one, the company was established in 1865, so it had been going for a few years, and uh, and eventually, and as far as I believe, Vineyards uh, bought the company, uh, basically taking it over. Uh, could be wrong, but as that's uh, as far as I believe, that's what happened. Now, in the this wee catalogue here, some interesting. Uh, when you read through the materials that you could buy. Uh, Megan's obviously changed some of the prices as uh, obviously the years went on, they've kept the catalogue and uh, they've just changed the prices as they uh, went along, which is really interesting. Um, you get Florida and Bustard up here, Bustard Fells, but you just, you just don't get now. Uh, corn Crate Hackles, Golden Eagle Hackles there, Chatter of Feathers, Peewit Crest. I mean, it's interesting just to read the type of materials. And the costs as well, like uh, Bustard was 2 and 6. Now 2 and 6 would be 12 and a half pence, as I always believe. Could be, that's a while since I used the old money. Uh, 1971 we changed over and I was 9. So uh, going back and remembering exactly what it was. I just know when they changed it from the old money to the new money we lost 2 pence in the so instead of for in, in five pence or a shilling as back back then, you could get twelve items for a shilling. When it went to decimalisation, you could only get ten. So the government ripped us off as they always do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's what. These are other things. Anyways, you can see the crests and so on. There's some really interesting things in here. If you ever, it's a, one of these things, maybe we should take some photographs and show them up close, but it's, it's, it's really interesting. And then there's the vineyard catalogues, there's, there's three there, there's three, yeah, three there. Uh, this one from 1952, we're going to the, the earliest one that's there. Um, but basically, in vineyards, there's always some extra things at the back you used to get, so but uh, you get the vices that's there, the different styles. This is one that I've got one of these here, uh, uh, an L Y or way, if you want to pronounce it that way. Um, just, oh, I know what it is. I'll show you exactly where it is. Just keep that on there. I've got a, an old fly tying kit. This is a salmon fly tying kit. It used to come in the wooden box, and uh, I got this. I got this off eBay, and it's never been touched. And this is from the fifties, and in there. And we've got, there's the vice there, the actual vice. And we've got all the materials, the floor silks and stuff. I mean, I got this for pennies, nobody was interested. You get different varnishes, and what you got, it's just a nice wee snippet of history. Uh, I mean, well, that's a substitute in there, like, this is an Indian crow substitute, the red ibis. Uh, got some lovely tinsels there, there's some silks. I mean, this is silk. Here, this is the original spools of uh, the actual floss, the silk floss. 
um, got the jungle cork, crests, uh, I'm sure I had this kingfisher there, still in the packet, it's in these wee, these wee packets here, the stickers came off, it's in there somewhere, oh, there we are, just the wee label it came, it's came off, it's a kingfisher, so I mean it's a really interesting wee, some feathers there as well, I've got Hacko pliers, but the old wax, there's a piece of the old wax there. It's rock hard. I mean, it probably will still work. Got my thread, see if I can see what it's like if I run it through. Just run it through and see what it's like. Oh, right, it's still, that would still be fine. So you can feel it in the thread. Nice grip. So that's an old piece of wax. And, uh, so it's very interesting, there's some nice blue jay. What else is in this? It's interesting, the vineyard stuff at the bottom there, there's a wee order form that you could order materials from them. Direct. We've got turkey, it's a nice turkey feathers there. The white tip turkey, so it's really nice and it's a white turkey. Um, so it's a really nice wee kit. So I mean, I bought it because it's only, it's only nineteen pound. Uh, the hard been some for some of the feather used, but anyway, it's interesting. It's just got some seals for your tweezers, your old dubbing needle. And we got a lovely wee tweezers there. So there, and wee dubbing needle. Lovely. The two pairs of by the looks of it. Hacko pliers. So that's a it's a nice wee sniff of history and obviously there's some some hooks. Tensions are nice. This is just your, your Naples. You get the gossamer, you get the, the finer, uh, and then you get the, the piercers, they get the naples, which is the heavier thread which was the salmon flies. I have in the wee vice as well, it's really, it's really cool as you say. So that's a nice wee thing, it's how I started believe it or not. It's, I actually got uh, a trout version of this, the, the salmon, when I first started and it was a dry fly. Within that as well you get the two wee book, uh, books. Uh, so this is the fly time for beginners and the salmon in vineyards. And in there it tells you how to marry the wings in this case because it goes away back. So you've got the, the different parts which is great fun to read through. And then there's 50 salmon flies. And if you look at the beginning here it's actually got the salmon fly in proportions telling you what the tag and all the rest of it is. So it's really interesting, it's good fun. So you come across these things once in a while and I only paid £19 for that box, which was pennies. Crazy. So anyway, these are the catalogues. Uh, some companies, this is a Alec Martin, a very famous company up here. In, they had a shop in Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen and Stirling. This is a 1950 catalogue. And again, you get, I mean, there's obviously other things in here. There's to do with, you get the patterns. Now, the reason I'm going to show you See the vices here as well. There's the same one, nine back to the 1950s. The wee small vice. And there's the the box. Which was the box? Did it tell you? I think there is actually a price list somewhere. You had to have it separate. I think the price list in one of the other ones. Um, but you, uh, if you, that's the rarest bit is actually finding. This is the price list for the 1951. Uh, so I'd have to go through it, but as I say in there you get you get pictures of the salmon flies and what have you. Oh, there's a catalogue there. It was at the back. It's very rare to get these, so it is. Within here you will find the price. And for me to see it, I need the old glasses. I'm going on a wee bit here. I didn't mean to make it as long as this, but the thing I was actually going to show you was this here. But we'll see how much in 1951. There we are. How do I get into it? That's the thing. There's the, the order form. 
Ah, see, there we are. Opens out. Fly tying accessories. The outfit, the trout outfit was 66 shillings. And the salmon outfit was 110 shillings. So that would be. Now there'll be somebody out there waiting for me to say a price and it'd be wrong. Now, 20 shillings and a pound. So one pound, so there's obviously. Uh, 60 there, so that would be I'm going to test five pound odds anyway for the for the salmon, which is quite a bit of money. But then I would think wouldn't be cheap. So but anyway, there we are. But I apologise if I've got the price wrong. I put that in there. As I say, there's more there. There's a vineyard one. That's an interesting one. That's the one. I, I like the vineyard ones. I like them all. Good fun. As I say, these belong to Megan. She she didn't throw them away. But what she did do, if you look in this here, this is very interesting. In this, she's actually been taking out the the pictures, obviously. Uh, maybe the salmon fly, so we've got the acroids there. Maybe the dunt. Uh, all these have got, they've got eye on them as well. So, the lantana, the tricolour, and so on. The moonshine, the mar lodge, and the balmoral. Uh, really well known D flies those some low water flies so there we've got the, the blue charm and so on I would say that's more like the silver charm March brown and so on should tell you down here blue charm, silver blue, March brown uh, we've got the Lady Caroline the jockey and we've got so basically what have we got here Blue's Hawks, it's just a blue, it's a blue hook. Have they just sold a blue hook? I don't know. But anyway, need to look that one up. We've got other flies as well, she's obviously marked off. And uh, she's used. Uh, and there's a, a hook size, all the blind eye hooks. And there's plenty of things, so she obviously, I mean I did this myself to be honest with you. I, in the magazine there was a Unless I was keeping the magazine, but if I wasn't and there was a fly in it or a dress and I would I would take it out. So there's quite a lot of stuff in there she's kept. So obviously cards there with some trout flies, which is surprised me in a way. I mean she wasn't renowned for tying that, but these are more sea trout flies, so she probably did tie them. There'll be patterns in there that she probably did. There's a some dry flies. I mean she did have a vice, I've actually got a vice that she used for trout flies, but not very often, like by the looks of it. And then there's more. It's handy to hold on to these as parachute flies. These were the Martin parachute flies. So uh, again, these are from their their catalogue. And some more D flies. Some nice part in the acroid and so on. So it's interesting to see what she did keep. I mean, obviously, this are, these are sea trout flies They're on Waddington shanks. These two down here, these are on tandems, so on. It's a right mixture of more salmon flies. These are kind of American type patterns. Uh, you can see American flies, uh, salmon flies again. Uh, some dappin flies in this for the sea trout. And more floating flies as it's written on there. This is for farlows, these ones. It's always handy to hang on to these. Uh, I think these were from the catalogues. So catalogues, farlows catalogues are, can be quite expensive to buy if you're looking to buy them. Especially the old ones. And what we got here the Grease Line Salmon Flies, the Farlows Kilroy. Uh, so basically you've got the patterns in here. These are the, the ones with the, the V-ring types. It's a quite an interesting style that, so it was. And more panel flies, or the panel series of flies. So it goes on and on, quite a few, some doubles. Some really nice patterns here as well. Uh, so it's always nice to look at these. And then, I mean, these are still, you can easily tie these and catch salmon today, just the same. 
There we are. So just got Miss Miss Megan Boyd. So she was renowned for writing on everything. So there you go. So I thought I would show you that. It's a wee bit of history and catalogues and some. Uh, this one's an interesting one, as I say, and uh, the old uh, fly tie and sand kit and wood box. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, wee snippet of history and I'll look at maybe doing some others in, in the future. So thanks for watching.